So it has been about two weeks since uh, the last time we were together, and I have accomplished a few things. Uh, all of those trees that I cut down over here are now gone. I sent those off to be processed at a sawmill and got them back. And as you can see, the area is kind of starting to green up a little bit, get some grass in it, which is nice and everything, but... We're going to be getting rid of all of that today. I have over here, uh, the use dealer, they're just, uh, over there by Jimmy's, had a front loader and a bucket that was all used and everything, and, uh, sold it to me for a pretty reasonable price, and it fits perfectly on this Massey. And then, I also, once that, uh, all that wood was all, uh, the logs were all processed, from what we cut down over there, we still have this over here, so that stuff is getting pretty close to being ready. Uh, I ended up building a chicken coop. This is where I was talking about putting the chicken coop. We didn't have to cut down any trees, just built it around those two. And uh, we got plenty of room. As you can see, our paths are starting to wear in pretty nice. Our driveway is starting to wear in pretty good. And uh, we got some wheat, just some standard wheat in there for the chickens for now. We have 49 chickens and two roosters. And uh, yeah, this is, it's a pretty nice, it's a pretty nice chicken coop. I think I did pretty well. Uh, very nice indeed. So, uh, I got a light in there and just run that light. I have another generator over here. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be clearing, we're going we're gonna to basically be scraping the ground clear of any foliage and grass in this area right here. Get down to a layer of dirt. And uh, the ground is pretty flat as it is, so we should be fine. We shouldn't have to do too much there. But uh, the cabin is going to go here, and I think I'm going to build a little shed behind it. Maybe somewhere right behind it, so we can start parking some of our equipment, tractors, and tank, and water tank, and all that stuff in there. And uh, we'll still use this for, for something. Not sure exactly what we use it for. The garden is doing very well, as you can see. So uh, let's go ahead. Let's get on this thing. Get it fired up. And uh, let's let's get to get to scraping the ground here. So the driveway is right here in this area. So I think we'll just we're just gonna kind of follow the tree lines. probably don't need to scrape the whole area, but I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just to give us kind of a blank slate to work with. Just go ahead and go around the edge here, right alongside the trees. You know, this, uh, this front loader attachment seems a little big for this tractor, but it seems to work just fine. So I think we'll be okay. Let 
This should flat the ground just a little bit as well, so. Yeah, that's uh that's turning out very nice. We may end up doing our driveway. Uh, the driveway, we may look into doing some gravel. That would be kind of nice. Concrete, asphalt, that, that's a little much. But uh, gravel would be nice. That would just make the ground a little bit solid. Won't have to worry about getting stuck. Uh, we don't know what the winters are like around here. We haven't been here quite that long. Almost done here. I think one more pass might do it. This has been a pretty solid tractor for us. Okay, one more pass and then we'll definitely be good then. Just got a little bit. Okay, that should do it. Let's just go ahead and park right here for a second. Yeah, I think that turned out real nice. We got just a couple of little mushrooms and stuff that we can just pick out ourselves. No big deal. Not sure why the bucket didn't get that. Yeah, we got a pretty good uh, blank slate here to build a cabin. Uh, I got the layout for the cabin planned. It's just going to be a straightforward uh, cabin. And we'll probably place it like kind of right in here at a little bit of a diagonal angle. And then we'll have a drive coming around the back side to where the shed will be in the back. Obviously, we're going to need some more wood. We may end up buying the wood for that. Not sure. But uh, this right here should be maybe just enough to get the cabin done. We might have to go buy some some uh, two by fours and planks and stuff like that. Uh, but that is the land clear. So it shouldn't take us very long to build the cabin. But I think we'll go ahead and clear the driveway. And maybe we should go start from over here. Maybe start right here.
I don't know if I'm going to worry too much about right there in front of the chicken coop. Let's see how that turned out. Oh yeah. That'll work. That'll work for now until we get some gravel put down. It's a little bit more defined now. We can see for sure where we're going. So I think I'll just park this right here. That should work. That way we don't get any water and stuff in a bucket. So I just spent some time dragging a few logs over to here. Now obviously these logs are going to have to be cut to size and all that and uh, fit together but this is kind of where I'm thinking the cabin is going to go and it's going to be roughly about that size. Maybe a little bit longer. I think I got some longer logs over there. But uh, we may end up needing a few more actually. So... I don't know exactly where I want to get those from. Maybe start cutting some area for an arable field, like right up in here, in this area. Maybe leave a layer, like a line of trees right here, and just start cutting right here. I think that might be a good idea. Maybe start right here. That'll work. Okay. Yeah, this should be good. Should get a couple of good logs out of this. Oh, that, oh, yep, that one got stuck in a tree. That's okay, we'll worry about that in a little while. That one's good. And I think, I don't, you know, I honestly, I don't know how big of a field we would want. Uh, maybe come back a little bit further. Maybe back to these right here. Okay, we gotta be careful here. Uh, so I think if we go on this side of the tree, we should be okay. Yeah, there we go. Then I think, uh... Maybe cut these two down right here. Take a look at the other side. We'll leave that line of trees there. 
And... I think really we just need to take this one down right here. Alright, that might be enough to get the rest of the job done. So we'll just leave those there for now. I'll debranch them and uh, go rent the stump grinder again and get rid of the stumps and all that stuff. I'm not going to bore you guys with that. But uh, yeah, we got a pretty good, pretty good start. We may even have some left over to uh, take over to the sawmill, get it processed into lumber. Because we also do still have some uh, old pallets over here. I don't know what we'll use that for, but we do have this 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 pallet of planks right here still. So I don't know what we'll do with that. I didn't really need it for the chicken coop for anything. Uh, we got enough processed from those trees that we had, but yeah, I'm thinking thinking this is a pretty good layout. Do the cabin here. Not sure what kind of shed I want to do back here just yet. May end up having to cut a couple of trees down if I want to go big. Which I don't really know exactly how big I want to go with the shed. But, we'll have a pretty nice area right here to get started with some arable farming. Uh, maybe at least some... Uh, wheat or barley to uh, feed our chickens and then whatever's left uh, we can always sell our garden is looking good over here very nice yeah let me uh it's about lunchtime. Let me cook up something for lunch here and uh, figure out what I'm going to do next. Well, it's been about another two weeks. I know I haven't shown too much, but uh, as you can see, all the logs are gone. And we have our cabin that is built. Didn't take too long to get this up at all. Just got some of the equipment parked over here for now. Uh, that means our tent right there can come down. So we'll do that here in just a minute. Also, this uh, light pole with the uh, lantern on it, we could probably dig that out and move it over here. Although there is a light, I did install a light right up there and I have a generator right over here to run the power. I got a water tank that we had, I got it moved over here up on some pallets. And uh, because inside we have a tub. And probably put a little shower faucet or something up there. Yeah, got a little wardrobe closet, little kitchen area, fridge, stove, sink, all that stuff. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Uh, built some tables and chairs, little cabinet there, and a little bed. Uh, not too bad. Got some lights installed in here. And as you can see, it is also snowing. It is uh, February. And it's still snowing, so... Uh, yeah, around here, I did extend the dirt pad area. Went ahead and scraped some more of the ground clear. And cleared out some more trees. Those are gone. And back here, we have everything that the sawmill processed for us uh, with the leftover logs. That we had after building the cabin. So we have some shingles, some planks, some beams, and uh, some floor tiles, and uh, stuff like that. So we'll be putting a shed in here eventually. Not sure exactly when that will be. Maybe, maybe over the next week or so, I might go ahead and get that built. But uh. Yeah, things things have been moving pretty pretty well as far as places to live and store equipment. 
uh, we got this up just in time, I suppose. I mean, it's it's it was near the tail end of winter when we moved out here. So, yeah, uh, this is the first snowfall that I've experienced out here. But uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. Got some uh, heat going on in here. So I think what I'll do, real quick, is go ahead and tear down our tent. And probably move that light pole. That lantern pole over there, just to add a little bit more light. Might move it around the back, or just stick it right here on the side. Or, uh, right here on the front corner. Might be a good area for it. Got some plants, a little bench and stuff out here. Yeah, so let me uh, tear down this tent and move that pole real quick. Alright, we got our light pole moved over here. Still just a lantern, no power to it or nothing like that. Uh, so we'll probably still use it, but the tent is taken down. It was nice while it lasted, but uh, we can now put something else in this area right here. Maybe a little storage shed for uh, the produce whenever it gets uh, ready to go. We can store it in there, and then we, we get a big load, we can haul it off. So yeah, things have been progressing along very nicely. Uh, we need to look into getting a plow, and maybe a cultivator, some kind of a cedar and start getting a field in right here since we did cut down quite a few trees we need to utilize the land for something to replenish but uh yeah it's starting to get late in the day so i'm gonna come in here cook, cook up some dinner and uh relax for the day <laughs> 